If you're old enough to remember this cartoon, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, hit that like button. If you're not old enough to remember this cartoon, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on notifications. If you're not sure what to do, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications. Let's go. Geeks, what's poppin'? Spider-Man's amazing friends are here. This set saved me some trouble. I wanted to do a Spider-Man and his amazing friend's shelf, but I only had one Firestar, and I only have one Iceman that would fit the mold. Now I don't have to worry about it. And what I didn't realize is, well, let me not be too quick to just say it, but on the box, it looks like Firestar has a new pinless joints, but we all know you can't go by what's on the box. So I'm gonna open it up and let's see if we get a surprise. I can earnestly say I truly hate these digital renders that they put on the boxes. I can't stand them. If Iceman really looks like that, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Cause that, <laughs> that does not look good. That head looks huge. All right, so we get Ms. Lion. We get two fists, we get two fire effects. Looks like everything we got in her single release. I don't remember her fire effects were two-toned like that. I'd have to go look. I'm curious as to which Spidey body we're getting in here. Top of the box have the Marvel Comics animation logo from the 80s and late 70s, I believe. This thing comes sealed, look at that. All I see is their feet. Oh wait, there's it. Oh, all I see is their heads. How did I mix up feet and heads? I've learned from previous videos not to talk when I'm unwrapping these things because you cannot hear over all that crinkling. All right, accessories. We got two fists for Iceman, two fists for Firestar, a pair of fire effects for Firestar, alternate head for Firestar, Ms. Lion, and we have, I guess, what is that, an ice kebab or an ice sled or what's going on there? And in a separate bag, we got alternate fists, wall crawling hand, and one flip hand for Spidey. Angelica. All right, this looks like the same head sculpt that came with the original release. Body's gonna be the same, but they did give us the new pinless arms, new pinless legs, so can't complain there. Now I thought this was gonna be the Renew Your Vow Spidey, but it is not, or at least the lower half isn't, because we don't have the articulated toes. But there were so many Spider-Men this year, geez, uh, the Japanese version, Renew Your Vows, the, the symbiote suit. There's just so many Spidey bodies. I don't remember which one this is. Oh, does not have that hole in the back, so we know it's not the one. We know it's not the one that Webman was on. It's also thinner. I have to go back and look through. But we got pinless elbows. We got pinless knees. We got an upper torso rocker. We got the lower ab crunch. And Hasbro needs to use this setup more often. I don't remember seeing this on anybody but Spider-Man. Now we all know I haven't opened all my legends, but I mean, I've opened enough to where if they were using it on a regular basis, I'd have seen it. What the f is this? Holy sloppy cell shit in Batman. Uh, what, who, who, what is this? This Is this Iceman? What's happening? Dude, I take the digital render over this. Iceman is not this skinny, dude. What, what is the base for this? The only Iceman in my collection I've opened is Age of Apocalypse Iceman, which doesn't size up to this. I'm hoping this is not the body they used on the other ones. The Retro Iceman, my son opened that for Christmas a few years ago. I don't remember it being on this body. Hold on, I gotta go get it, I gotta check, hold on. Okay, so it's neither one of those figures. Actually, it looks like the base body, or at least the torso could be the same as that right there, except not translucent. Uh. I also didn't notice in this package his arm is bending. After so many years, I'm afraid to open that up. And the ice slide, forgot it came with him there. Wow, look at that, two different colors. I wonder why they did that. So yeah, Ugh, this ice man, Lord. And look at this leg. So ever since they came out with the windowless packaging, I've been getting figure after figure with at least one of the legs bent. Look at that. It's just bending out to the right. Well, for you, the left. Spidey's leg. It's, looks like it's swaying out too a little bit. No, his foot is just twisted. But that's happening way, way too often. Those legs are getting bent up in those packages. All right, while well, I sit here into why Hasbro saw fit to ruin my childhood memories, let's take a moment to bask in all of their three-pack glory. Keith Lee.
I must say, they do take an impressive family photo. I'm not digging this guy. I'm sorry, and Hasbro should give up on the cell shading. To me, it doesn't hit. I think of all the figures I've gotten with cell shading, maybe two of them, I thought it looked okay. I don't like his body on any Marvel Legend, or I should, let me not say that. For some Marvel Legends, I'm sure it fits. Uh, I can't even think of a character right now that's this thin. But Bobby Drake, Iceman, was not this thin. His chest was not this narrow. I just think it's a little bit too puny. The other two figures in the set have pinless joints, so he's like, he's the black sheep of the family. Why cheap out like that? Why make a three pack? It's, you know, I, it's almost like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, you come out with this pack celebrating Spider-Man as amazing friends, and everything's not equal. You make two with new technology, and one you're like, oh, we're just gonna repaint this old body. It, I don't want to use, it's not, I don't want to use the word disrespect. I wouldn't want to use disrespectful. I don't want to say they're disrespecting us as the buyers, but just they're disrespecting the property. I mean, I don't think any other company would do that. Like put together a three pack, put in two new things and just throw one old thing in. And if you're talking about painting this, if the cell shading is considered new, it's not. And he's gray. He should be white or blue and translucent or something, but he shouldn't be gray. He looks like dirty snow. But I'm sorry, you know, I tend to go on and ramble, but I really, just really do not like this figure. All right, so we know what this body does. Oh, you know what? I just realized which body it says. I'm pretty sure this is the body that Professor X was on from that Tri-Sentinel wave. All right, so uh, I'm not gonna run through articulation here. Even if I'm wrong about that body, we've seen this body a million times before, and I'm not gonna dignify it or acknowledge it by going through it. So with Firestar, the head sculpts are the same from the single release. The fire effects are the same, I checked. The only thing that's different are these arms and knee joints. All right, she's giving you a really good range there, but she's not kicking her butt by herself. Spectacular range on those pinless double jointed elbows. Spectacular range on those pinless double jointed elbows. Actually, the knees give better range. I didn't click it all the way. So she's really close to kicking her butt. Same great range on the feet. A lot of reuse from the retro card Spidey. Not sure what's going on here. I never noticed this retro card Spidey, there's like a black haze to the outfit, like under the webbing. Now on this guy, you have that black haze here, but it's more of a matte finish, but then the arms are bright. So it looks like they took this torso, spruced it up, repainted it, but kept that black base. But then the arms, they didn't get from here because you see how it has that dark shade to it but here it does not they took these from one of the many other spider-mans and yeah and that shoulder look at that that shoulder ball is a lot bigger totally different arm here and of course you got the pinless elbows the torso rocker looks the same this ab section here is different though this is completely round and smooth this one has like ab indentations there ah uh, here we go it looks like it's the amazing fantasy 15 body yeah, yeah, we nailed it. And that's why you got that dark hue in the middle there. For articulation, check out my review for Amazing Fantasy 15 Spidey. You even got the same head. All right, so final thoughts. It's a pretty decent set. Iceman ruins it for me though. I don't like the look of him. I don't think he should have been cell shaded. I don't think he should have been gray. I don't think he should have been on that skinny body. I don't think they should have given us that reused ice sled or mini diorama or whatever it is. The clear one looked better. I would have much preferred some ice effects. Or both, Hasbro, for the price. Now, Firestar to me is a stand-up. I'm a big fan of both those head sculpts. Now that they've added pinless knees and elbows, I think she's darn near perfect. I mean, of course she could use some waist articulation, but Hasbro doesn't do that with their Marvel Legend females. Now, the Spider-Man, they could have done a little bit more. This is just a redeco of the Amazing Fantasy 15 figure. So low cost Hasbro, you could have given us some webbing or some kind of accessories to go along with it. Some web balls, something. And I don't like the laziness here. This darkness on the torso, it's not on the mask, it's not on the arms, it's not on the legs. But there is just a black background hue there that stands out and kind of ruins the paint job on the rest of the figure. It just doesn't look good. When your eyes scan from his limbs and extremities to the center, it just looks dark, like he rolled around in mud or something. So, 
if you don't have a really good Spider-Man and you didn't get the first Firestar, then I'd say this pack is worth it. But honestly and truly, if you have the Renew Your Vows Spidey, the Retro Spidey, the Amazing Fantasy 15 Spidey, and you have the original Firestar release, and definitely any of the other Icemen, I would say skip this pack. And it's unfortunate because I was so excited for it. I love Spider-Man Amazing Friends. I was actually watching it last night <laughs> when I was going to sleep. I love that show. Brings me back to my childhood. But this pack is not it. I think this was a cash grab on Hasbro's part. And yes, it, while it may be good for people that don't have it, even those people deserve a little bit better. I would say if you really want to put this trio together, track down individual figures. Get the original Firestar. She's not expensive. Matter of fact, I think like Big Bad Toy Store still has her in stock or Dorkside or somebody I saw the other day. Get the Retro Iceman. You can probably find them on Mercari for like 21 bucks or maybe even less. And if you collect Marvel Legends, I'm sure you have one of the recent Spideys. All right, let me know what you think. Sound off in the comments. Did you get this pack? Were you waiting for my review? Or are you just going to skip it all together? You never wanted it from the get-go. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and make sure to share a link with a friend that loves the plastic like we do. Till next time, geek out.